And I'm going to watch Charlie Kirk also spread some lies. I mean, I'm looking at Politico.com. I'm looking at the New York Times. I'm looking at all these places. And there's a little bit of mention here. For example, Politico says top Republicans reject any link between GOP rhetoric and Paul Pelosi assault. Of course you should reject any link. Why is the Republican Party, why is the conservative movement to blame for gay schizophrenic nudists that are hemp jewelry makers breaking into somebody's home or maybe not breaking into somebody's home? Why are we to blame for that exactly? I mean, you're literally doing the thing. He's like doing the thing while he's laughing about it. You're to, you're to blame for it because you keep engaging in conspiracy theories. No one will check this. And why is he still in jail? Why has he not been bailed out? By the way, if some if some amazing patriot out there in San Francisco or the Bay Area wants to really be a midterm hero, someone should go and bail this guy out. I bet his bail's like thirty or forty thousand bucks. Bail him out and then go ask him some question. I wonder what his bail is. They're going after him with attempted political assassination, all this sort of stuff. I'm not qualifying. Wait, is he defending the guy? That's kind of awesome. Okay, I take it back. Okay, I didn't. I did not think he was gonna go bananas mode and like defend the guy who tried to pop Pelosi. That's kind of cool. You love to see it, folks. He's literally like, yeah, get him out of jail. Be a midterm hero. Ask him some questions. You know, they're really going after this guy. Dang it! I think it's awful. It's not right. Why is it that Chicago you're able to commit and be out the next day? Why is it? Wait, what? Bro, that's not a thing, dude. This is where the insanity of the cities comes from, okay? Directly from his mouth. That's why so many divorced dads with lifted pickup trucks unironically think like, Chicago, they're getting out of prison immediately for free. <laughs> they deleted cash bail <laughs> and they're being given by the corrections officers because the COs who are cops are offended. That's why we need to be better to the police. That you're able to trespass, second degree threat of public official, cashless bail. This happens all over San Francisco, but if you go after the Pelosi's, oh, you're let out immediately. The red wave that's coming is gonna be like the elevator doors opening up in The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. I think people are just like, what are you saying? You're, they're making Republicans. I don't. Yeah, I mean, he's he's not wrong. It will be like The Shining, you know, like the murderer. I had a family member who is an, who's a boomer and a diehard liberal. And they told me when I was home this summer that they would vote for DeSantis. And I'm like, how did you lose this person? Rad libs are making Republicans unironically. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. There's two there's two different sides to this, okay? If you're an idiot, okay, and you already have those biases and you're geared towards that and you're just like waiting to flip, then sure. I mean, you were going to flip anyway. But this notion that like rad libs are turning people into Republicans is, is such a silly one. Oh man, people really dunked on me for, you know, microaggressions. So I became a supporter of a guy who wants to trans people is not, is not logical in any meaningful sense of the word. I have gotten shit on by rad libs more than anyone else. More than anyone else you can imagine. I get on by rad libs almost as much as conservatives do, okay? But because I have a moral compass, I have not decided to change my entire worldview. Because I'm not some psycho. If you're so fragile to switch sides because a lib is posting cringe on main, then you're silly. Exactly. Yeah. How did you lose this person? This is a, this is a like, go to the ballot and vote blue no matter what. And you've lost even the, the boomers. <laughs> To be fair, most people form political opinions through emotions and anecdotes rather than being analytical about it. I know, but these aren't two random Americans, okay? They are doing political analysis and assessment. And the adequate assessment in this situation is to point what you just said out. To say that a lot of people in a lot of people act uh first of all, they don't even act in the margins. A lot of people don't actually do the party switch that these people are talking about. OK, 80 percent of voters vote a certain way because their parents voted that way, because they know to vote that way. That's just the reality. Only 20 percent of voters vote on behalf of ideology or their ideological understanding of the world. OK, so that's one. That is the reality. And two, when you have some people switch parties, OK, which happens in the margins, when you have people switch parties, that means that they were already geared towards uh, uh, changing their attitude. And that's how they changed it. But they already had the preconceived notions because I understand because I understand how aesthetics driven Americans are because there is no there is no like material analysis whatsoever in the minds of an American. I try to always take it back to I try to always uh, bring the subject back to economic policy and its uh, and its impact on everyday lives of everyday citizens. What is this? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> she 
punches harder than I do, bro. What is this? Val didn't follow with the Republican meme shaking my head. Oh, God. People think you could just, like, be a fridge for a day, okay? Try living life as a refrigerator every single day, okay? Sometimes you don't know if you're going to fit through a door. Sometimes you don't know if you're going to fit through a hallway. Sometimes you're walking on a sidewalk, okay? And you literally have to stop and get off the sidewalk so a family can walk past you. People don't understand what it's like to live as a fridge every single day. My culture is not your costume, okay? My culture is not your prom dress. My culture is not your Halloween outfit. Sick and tired of it. You guys don't understand it. You do not understand it. Don't know what it's like. Catching the wind as much as you do is a hazard in itself. Tipping risk much? Thank you. You're right. I have a lot of surface. I have a lot of density. Bro walking sideways through doorways. You don't aggressively, so you don't aggressively bump somebody? Yeah. Repost economy, class, airline seats to spook Hassan this Halloween. Stop. Don't bring that up. That's, that's a terrifying thought. 